Uh, hello, everyone. My name is Maxim. I work at a big IT company where I am responsible for new projects and new technologies. And today I will tell you a few words about new technology and new device. At this point, you will probably make a deep yarn. Who cares about new technologies and new devices nowadays when they appear and disappear on the market each week and month and year? But I'm sure it's quite a different thing. And I will use the following 15 minutes to persuade you that this technology and this device can really make a big difference. Please raise your hands, those who have smartphones. Oh, quite a lot. That's great. Uh, in this case, surely you do know what is Bluetooth. But do you know what is the biggest uh, disadvantage of classic Bluetooth? Definitely it's power consumption. Meaning that if you leave Bluetooth turned on on your device for a long period of time, it will drain your battery. Thus, uh, classic Bluetooth turns off automatically after a short period of use. In 2009, another protocol has been introduced, which was initially called Bluetooth Low Energy, and now we call it Bluetooth Smart. What is the biggest difference? Again, it's power consumption, which is 15 or even 20 times less than for classic Bluetooth. And it means that you can leave Bluetooth Smart turned on on your mobile device for a long period of time. In fact, you can leave it turned on constantly with no problems with battery. That's a good fact and that's a good base for the next step. Now, let me show you a small thing. This is Bluetooth Beacon. And all those on this slide are also Bluetooth beacons. In fact, there is a small chip which can transmit data using Bluetooth Smart Protocol. Uh, it can transmit about 32 bytes of data, which is not so much, but quite sufficient. And which is good, it can transmit it for a long period of time, for two or three years without any stops. Now, how can this small thing make a big difference? That's a story about applications. And I will uh, use the rest of my talk to explain applications, applications, and even more applications. But I'm not a wizard. I'm an IT specialist. So I will tell you a few words how it can work in general. In general, there are two basic schemes. One scheme uh, is when your mobile device detects signal from Bluetooth beacon, gets some unique identifier from it, sends it to server, and uh, takes back from the server some content, which can be any content you like. Text, picture, audio, video, anything you want. That's one thing. And uh, you all know McDonald's. Now, a significant number of McDonald's cafes in the United States are equipped with beacons. And when you make an order, when you order in your favorite hamburger, uh, your mobile device detects beacon and you immediately get on your mobile device, you immediately get a mobile coupon offering you to buy coffee and to get for free some new drink for new product line. That's the case. Another basic scheme is when your smartphone is able to detect three beacons simultaneously. In this case, a mobile device is capable to solve simple trilateration task and uh, determine your position, uh, determine your exact location. Uh, for example, the second busiest airport in the United Kingdom, which is Gatwick Airport, now is equipped uh, with 2,000 beacons uh, to help passengers uh, with indoor positioning and indoor navigation. These are two basic schemes, 
And now let's go to applications and applications. Uh, now I have a question to you. Uh, did you ever get lost in a big shopping mall? I did. And I found the situation well. When you want to buy something, you found it, and uh, then you decided, after some time, you decided to buy it, and you are no longer able to find this particular shop. I know this is more of an issue for men, as women have some special intuition for the such cases. But anyway, having this mall equipped with beacons can easily help you, not only to determine where you are, but also to navigate you to a particular shop or cafe or restaurant or some other place. And not only for malls. For example, I often take part in a big IT venues, like, for example, Mobile World Congress in Barcelona uh, or IoT Expo in Vegas. You can imagine those huge uh, venues and those huge halls. It's really difficult to find specific booths of specific company. Okay? Uh, beacons can help you with it. And besides, it can help you with social networking. Personally, I'm sure that social networking is the most important thing on every IT venue and on every venue uh, in general. Beacons can help. Uh, beacons can help you to find people nearby you with the same interests who are ready to discuss uh, topics of mutual interest with you. This is a crucial thing for venues. Uh, now let's continue to do shopping. And let me tell you a few words about shopping assistants. Uh, their choice for treating customers is quite difficult. Either uh, they are following uh, after you here and there, asking each minute whether you need help or not, and in this case they are really annoying. Or vice versa, they just disappear and you have a hard time trying to find a piece of information or a piece of advice. I'm sure you were in both situations and it's really bad user experience. Uh, having uh, your shop uh, or mall equipped with beacons again can help resolve this. How? If customer stays at some point for one or two minutes, probably he or she needs help. And uh, closer shopping assistant uh, will get audible signal on smartphone indicating that, okay, there is a customer nearby and probably this customer needs help. Shopping assistant will come to you and will ask you. Uh, another question. Uh, did you ever uh, buy goods with uh, expired date? I did. Again, it's a bad user experience. And uh, I don't want uh, to say that retailers want to cheat, though sometimes they won't. But the major problem is that it's really difficult to keep track on uh, all those goods in a big storehouse with uh, limited expiration dates. Let's equip storehouse with beacons or even with small beacons like stickers. They are cheap and you can program expiration date into it. So it's just enough to come to storehouse with smartphone, go here and there, and again, you will take audible signal on your smartphone when you are in proximity of something with expired or close to expiration date. Now let's uh, finish shopping and let's explore the museum. Assume uh, you want to explore masterpieces of some big museum, like for example, Hermitage or Louvre. Definitely you can buy guided tour. But you know, guided tour is a very special genre. It's like, look to the left, look to the right, now you have one minute to stay here, and in one minute exactly, we have to move forward quickly. I don't like this genre, it's very special. But that's, the only, that's only half of the issue. Another half of the issue is a language. No museum can afford to have guides on many different languages. So there is a big chance that particular museum will have no particular guide on your language, on desired language. Let's throw away guided tour and take beacon guided tour. 
meaning that you just have beacons under each painting and under each sculpture. And being in proximity of this beacon, you will immediately get all necessary information, again, audio and video and pictures about uh, the, um, uh, the subject and its author and all that. And you get this information on your favorite language, on your preferred language, which is very important. Uh, we all live now in automotive world. We use cars, we use buses, we use public transportation. How can beacons help uh, in this area? Uh, for example, two years ago, I spent more than 20 minutes, being in California, I spent more than 20 minutes making circles uh, on, uh, in a uh, sixth floor parking structure, trying to find a uh, free parking lot. And I ended up, uh, I found this, I found it but I uh, uh, was not able to buy tickets uh, to my favorite music show. Uh, if this parking structure had been equipped with beacons, then it can easily navigate me to the uh, cl uh, closest free parking lot, saving time and money and nerves. Uh, also, uh, beacons can help you to pay for your ticket in public transport. And it can help you with car rental. Uh, when I uh, travel abroad on business, I usually rent a car. And often I have to stay in a long line, in a long queue uh, to rental car uh, company office, uh, waiting for all these uh, agreements and all that. But if those uh, cars are equipped with beacons, it's enough just to come to find car and using smartphone, open it, and all necessary information like agreement, driving license, and all that will uh, go to a uh, rental company. Uh, I know that uh, one of rental companies in the United States and Canada called Silver Car already uses such technology, and I wish I use this company next time being on business uh, in the United States. The last but not least is about fitness and healthcare. Uh, did any of you uh, use gym bikes? Do you like it? Frankly, I find it quite boring, because there is no action in it. But the situation can be changed. Let's equip gym bike with beacon, and you can take a virtual competition. You can virtually compete with somebody doing the same exercise, elsewhere in the world, which, make, which adds gamification and which adds fun to this procedure. More serious is about hospitals. One of the biggest medical centers in Germany already uses beacons uh, for patients, and each patient has a wristband uh, with a beacon inside. This wristband helps to get access to medical information to recipes, doctor prescriptions, and patient location, and all that things. Uh, what I'm uh, talking to you, it's, not, it's even not our future, it's our present. Four million beacons are expected to be used only in the United States and only in one year. Four million beacons. And many companies, very famous ones, already using it. So today I want to use this lucky possibility to talk to you. Because I know that you are all specialists in different areas. Businessmen, doctors, teachers and uh, different specialists. And I'm sure that you will be able to find more and more cases how beacons can, and this technology can solve particular problems in your particular area. That's my hope, to inspire you with this idea and uh, to inspire you to find additional cases. Because uh, you can do it as a specialist. I can't do it. I, I'm a specialist in my area. You are specialists in your areas. So you will be able to do it better than me. And my hope 
you will do this. So feel free to invent, implement, and enjoy. Thank you. Thank you.